for the public. This media was used for the public on a mass scale. For me, it is a way of giving. It is a way of expression of gratitude for the unsung heroes, low profile people. It could be family members, friends, association society at large. Often, we tend to appreciate only as the obituary. My intention has always been that they should be appreciated when they're alive, which stands as a motivation for them to work more. And in the process, I make an attempt to amplify the upright and efficient people. Lastly, we all know that the print, printed material blue, uh, rather lives behind its footprints. Now we have the digital media print. Now, with me, as an anecdotal experience, let me share. I wrote an article on plastic hazards sometime in early 2000. 15 years later, two to three people recapitulate that article. One among them came to me saying that, why I read your article on plastic, why don't you come and talk to our NGO organization? So that much is the lasting legacy and the short period. We all know what is the legacy a written word has. I don't need to elaborate on that. So the next platform which you can use is also a, is a writing, letter writing. Now often, I, let me quote another anecdotal example. I wrote in a letter to uh, then uh, Union Health um, Union Minister, Sri Anand Kumar, seeking a MLC nomination. Thereafter, after some time, I met him. The first word he uttered was, I have read your letter completely. That is the impact a concise and precise letter can have. In the present days, when the attention span is decreasing, the listening capacity is reducing. Even a letter as a form of writing can have its impact. There is obviously a retention value for it. As I know people who have retained my writings and letters, and it has a long lasting. Now, another platform which we often have, we think it is a privileged platform that is WhatsApp and Twitter. If used purposefully, even that platform can be harnessed, the reach of that is mind boggling. Now, Sorry. Right. Sorry. 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 Now, coming to the nuggets, which uh, I finished in the time. It's a trying and laborious art form. One is suggested to be authentic, avoid being preachy and pushy. And when we are using a social media platform, for sharing our views, the checklist could be, is it true? Is it within culturally acceptable limits? And it is better to avoid political and religious content. Now, let us go on to what Dr. Atul Gavande suggested in his book, Better. He suggested to choose your audience. Just write something, it need not achieve perfection. Only needs to add some observation about your world. Then finally, don't underestimate the effect of your contribution, however modest it could be. Lastly, act of writing uh, itself uh, is a of time, yes, catastrophic process that instills clarity and keeps the individual. Thank you, one and all, for the patient here. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I know you have written uh, voraciously at so many platforms, including newspapers and Facebooks and all that. They're so valuable to the youngsters and juniors, which convey a lot of message. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Dr. Jack, Jack, I am ready. Yeah. Uh, now I am I call upon Dr. C.G. Narasimhan, our past chairman yeah. uh, from Mysore, to speak on networking of different stocks at 83. Please. Uh, am I seen there Over now? Uh, good. Good, thank you. Uh, thank you all and good, good evening to everybody there. Though good evening, I, uh, sir. Can I, hello? Good evening, sir. Hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. You see, this is not my first, first, please uh, project my first, first slide, please. This is second one, this is second one. 
No, no. No, I think something wrong. No, this is not a bun. This is, no, sir, no. No, sir, no. You sir, are mixed up, no, no. Sir, you please continue. No, I can't, without this slide, I don't think I can continue. You have mixed up the entire slides, the one, the sequence which I have given. The, this is not the sequence which I had given. You please try again. Go back. Go back. No. One more, I think. We have, Sir, I we think have you have taken. We, no, we had only have, four. I we understand, four but you have. You are. You are. I think I said. I sent a second set of uh, uh, slides. You see, these are the old ones which I have, which I, which, which you have, which you are showing there. Uh, no, in any case, like this, sir. we will okay, continue I, with this. Okay, let me continue with this. Well, this is a picture of, uh, you know, my, uh, this was a picture which was taken some nearly 68 years ago in the fourth city of uh, Chitradurga, those days. And uh, these are the, my classmates who are, who have been, uh, the, who, who were there. And uh, I could connect it with, by, by internet and by somehow, and with my uh, uh, networking, and they, I, I was able to even uh, arrange a get together in Chitradurga for all these people about uh, about about five or six years back. At the bottom of that, the I mean the photo, I mean is uh, that is of my batchmates who joined medical college in 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 1957. Uh, MBBS to Mysore Medical College, and they are they are spread all over the globe. You see, and I was able to uh, I was able to catch them, and then and uh, by using networking, uh, I mean network, and uh, and uh, I was able to arrange a, a very nicely arranged uh, get together. We, we called we called it a 50th year get together of Swarana Milana. Okay. Right, let me go to the next slide then. Yeah, this is a picture of uh, picture of my photo exhibition of my general and clinical photography, which was arranged in the year 2003. And it was inaugurated and at the same time appreciated by the, uh, the photo journalist, Mr. Satyan of, uh, of, I mean, he, he is also a Padma Awardee. Yes, let me see. Let me go to the next one then. Yeah, this is a very, um, uh, you know, the uh, picture of uh, uh, Shushruta. And uh, I had to do a lot of uh, networking for this, uh, to get this done. And I had to contact the, uh, the best of the sculpt sculptor in the whole of uh, India. And I had to, do, you know, you have to decide upon the uh, selection of the stone, size and design of the statue, and, and also at the same time obtaining uh, permission from the Mysore Medical College. And uh, we were able to do it. I was able to certainly do it. And it was unveiled exactly just about a month back by none other than Dr. G. N. Narayan Reddy, a former uh, director of uh, Nimans. And he was so kind enough to come at he is the oldest student of Mysore Medical College of the age of 93 years. Okay, right. Uh, well, next one, please. Yeah, this is another thing which we are being very passionate of uh, uh, Carnatic and Hindustani music. I have I have been associated with a very famous, uh, very uh, music organization called Gana Bharati in Mysore and networking again with my friends and donors and MLAs and MPs, I could raise a sizable amount of more than two crores and build a beautifully acoust acoustically treated audi auditorium. And I was so happy that I, I, I am in fact quite satisfied at the same time for doing something useful to the society. Youngsters may be interested to know that I am learning Hindustani music now well past 80 years and continuing the same passion even today. 
and the last one to um, and the bottom bottom picture is is the, the family of uh, the um, royal family of mysore who have been You're associated time, with sir? our hello you are running out yeah. of time sir yeah and, and the last one i let me just advise to the young surgeons as surgeons one have to, one has to have developed some hobbies to handle the professional uh, stress at this age of mine apart from the hobbies mentioned earlier and uh, the, the the hobbies which have been kept me going at this age are gardening swimming and philately i have a rich collection of the first day covers and more than 100 year old of uh, postal materials thank you all very much all the best good luck to you thank you thank you so much sir uh, you are being the now our uh, elder most say, at 83 and you have chosen the topic also same networking of different strokes at 83 it was very yeah. glad to hear from you and even installing the shushruta in mysore medical college thank you yeah. for your contribution sir uh, now we will move to our next speaker uh, dr siddesh uh, everyone uh, knows about him he is our Did past president asi uh, so uh, dr si Dr. Siddesh, uh, please over to you, sir. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. And can you see my slides, please? Yes, yes, we can see. You, yes. Thank you for the opportunity. Without wasting time, I know that a lot of speakers. Let me get on with my. Uh, presentation. Uh, my presentation would be on visit to nature. It has plenty to give. Let me slides it doesn't seem to be moving. Let me see. It seem to be something. No. Sir, just click on this slide, sir. Just click on this slide. Then it will. Is it wrong? Yeah. Just click no, on it's this. Not, it's not working, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Thank uh -huh. you. So my basic instinct to love towards nature was was derived way back in my childhood when I joined scouting in fifth standard and went ahead to receive award as a leader in '72 from the then president V. V. Giri and went ahead to represent India in the international camp at Arte Crimea in '73. I pursued uh, the love towards trekking, camping, mountaineering, etc. Till in 1975 when I joined medicine. And I had to forcefully stop all these passion and my what I like to do. But if you believe it to me or not, it is only in the year 2016 when I resigned from JSS Medical College, I had a chance to revisit my passion that the best way to do it was, I thought, was farming, which is the uh, way my forefathers did for livelihood and uh, plantation. And it is anyone's guess, looking at these bright colors of vegetables or the succulent fruits and the fully bloomed flowers kept me going all these years ever since when I have started this uh, passion, practicing this passion. It all started uh, in the year 2016 when I visited this piece of land next to River Kabini, where it was totally in a neglected state you can see the thorny bushes and weeds grown twice my height, and it was hardly difficult to enter the field. But my decision to take this land was made moment I came across this old small temple uh, housing Lord Lakshmi Narayana with Lord in a very depleted state. You can see that, and with a lot of beer bottles and cards thrown around this on the riverside. And uh, that's what made me to take this decision. Moment I took possession of this land, we started cleaning up the land using JCP and did flowing of the land. And in a natural way to re-fertilize the land, we planted legumes and we started planting samples. And in this case, you can see collection of areca nut trees. Over a course of years now, if I look back, the path which I have chosen obviously is not wrong. You will agree with me again. In a lower lying land neighboring, which had abundant water supply, water uh, resource, I decided to uh, grow paddy. Twice a year it was possible. And uh, 
कि there is no match to this joy of joining hands with the workforce and it also is motivating to them and the bounty of harvest is most satisfying of the hard work of more more than 3 and a half months and nothing more than that would be these glimpses of pictures if you are careful enough and you have inclination to capture them they can be a valuable piece of wall hangings with you that is what nature has got to give you and with a lot of greenery around i we felt we could house few livestock and it has its own positive side effects to see the two lovely pair of uh, male calves which are very fast growing they are born with us and they are going very fast to much to my liking and then my other passion is to plant as many trees possible which i do every year around my birthday which is uh, coinciding with the world environmental day and uh, the onset of monsoon and a minimum of 100 trees which i aim to plant every year and uh, at one stage in the beginning i even planted uh, we crossed a mark of 1000 and you see the various stages of the growth of these plants it is nothing but most satisfying to look at them my friend once told looking at this teak plantation told so there are all way for only your grandchildren so well you will all agree with me it is not just the material returns what we are looking at when you involve in such activities and at the same time we need to look up some crash uh, growing some cash crops like this banana which has a bounty of uh, yield if you are lucky at the same time if you scientifically design the intermediate crop is more yielding if you are lucky again are blessed look at the fully bloomed mango trees but what is amazing for me is the immediately neighboring tree does not even have one flower in it only nature knows why i go nuts to look at the harvest from high up in the sky or under the ground to spice it up a bit i have grown sometimes even green chilies everything is green it need not be always rosy there are insects fungi viruses and the onslaught by wild guinea pigs as a wild pigs as well as peacocks which can spoil your show but with scientific planning we can always meet these challenges but what is most challenging what i have learned over course of years is the managing of human resource but end of the day till now i always look at my progress with lot of joy like i feel after bungee jumping like this but if anyone ask me how much have you earned out of these exercise for the last 7 8 years i would better hide my face than telling the real truth but i will continue with all these ups and downs like this what i did in the last birthday of mine so with lot of joy i have learned of late another art of preparing cocktails which i mastered in the pre time of covid which i am very happy to host uh, each one of you uh, on your visit i pray at this moment the lord lakshmi narayana you can look at him with awe and reverence when he is fully decorated i can't take my eyes off him and i i pray him to bless all of us and those who have contributed along with me in my form to and their families with lot of health and happiness thank you very much for this opportunity again thank you so much sir uh... being a asi president we always thought you are very busy in only practice but you have taught us uh, even agriculture the basic thing the highest respect a farmer gets in our country uh, thank you sir thank you so much for enlightening us thank with you, that thank you i hope i have uh, finished it in time because shuram i am afraid he is always been on a watch and time i could see <laughs> thank you <laughs> it was nice uh, we will go to our next speaker uh, who is our very senior surgeon and very active role in every Uh, so an event uh, dr k lakshman uh, from bangalore who will be speaking on off road uh, driving uh, can i request dr lakshman sir to take over please thank you good evening i presume you can see my screen and hear me please lakshman yes, sir. sir yeah thank you uh, yes, sir first yeah first of all thank you uh, ksai for giving me this opportunity i must also congratulate dr shivram and the committee for this excellent thought of bringing to the fore some of the non surgical activities of surgeons i am talking about off road driving today 
being in the midst of tall mountains, deep valleys, lovely rivers and lakes is something which is exhilarating and relaxing at the same time. The only way to reach these areas is either by foot with a trekking exercise or by this process of off-road driving where we use vehicles all, almost always with a four by four facility and go on unpaved surfaces and even drive through riverbeds. We undertook one such a couple of years ago uh, in Arunachal and we went from the western Arunachal yeah. city of Pasighat and reached the southeastern part which is bordering um, Burma, a place called Vijay Nagar and reached the northeastern most, it's the easternmost village of India, a place called Kaho. It took us 12 days and we did 1200 kilometers. As I said, these four by four Mahindra Thars, we, all, we had three of them and we had two of uh, um, the Fortuners, Toyota Fortuners four by four. These are really beasts of machines. And when you engage the four by four gear and start the process of using it on difficult terrain, the control that you have and the confidence that you get even on the most slippery and slushy roads is something which is unbelievable. Apart from the experience and the thrill of using the machine, we honestly, I find that I learn a lot of life, life lessons which can be directly extrapolated to our lives as surgeons when we undertake these treks and these kinds of group activity. First of all, it tells you the value of teamwork. There is no competition. You're helping each other to achieve the best. And all of us in the team either win or lose and take both with equanimity. The terrain and the area that you visit definitely enforces the concept of simplicity in life. Once you go to areas where you have no electricity, no running water, no toilet facilities, and perhaps a tent or the most basic of a village accommodation, you understand what simplicity is and how blessed we are sitting in these uh, um, cities with all the latest facilities. And I cannot but think that we should be very grateful for what we have and we should really stop cribbing about the little things that we save, that we face in our cities. It really fosters friendship, very important part in a surgeon's life. This young man, Manju, Manju Nath, he was my partner in crime during that uh, trip. He was my young anesthetic colleague. On days, we had camping on beautiful locales in the river sites, and we learned the art of zero residue camping, which is a very essential thing for env environmental maintenance. Night driving is a big challenge. You are going up and you cannot see the road in front of you. Sometimes your co-driver has to hang his head out and tell you which way to go. It is also a great motivation for fitness. And automatically you have the discipline of getting up in time, doing things automatically. And when you want to be fit, you will always keep an eye on your diet. And each time I plan a trip like this, I do one almost every year. I have at least three or four months of very disciplined living. And it also induces humility and gratitude and the concept of interdependence. There is nothing like independence in these things. And the highlight of this is essentially driving through rivers. It is uh, an experience that cannot be described, but can only be experienced and felt and enjoyed. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, sir. You are always known as a very good teacher and a, a very disciplined person. But today we could see your great adventure. I think so many youngsters will learn from you. So passionate about it. Thank you so much, sir. And Thank also you. you finished within the time frame. Thank you so much. We will call upon our uh, next speaker, uh, a very well known uh, to all the surgical uh, community, Dr. Raj Gopal Shanai, Professor of KFC Mangalore, who is also EC member in ASI, uh, to speak on singing and chess.
सर ओवर टू यू डॉक्टर राजगोपाल शेनाई Yes. Can you can you see my slide? Yes. Yes, Raj Gopal. Yes. Yes, please. Thank. You. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, giving this opportunity, and uh, very different kind of a uh, passion. You know, you have to speak. Um, no doubt, this for a surgeon, passion is a surgery, and in a faculty, in a in a you know medical college, it has to be teaching. we have learned so many so many of those uh, passion or hobbies you have but i have chosen uh, two things here that is a uh, singing and uh, chess these are the two of my i will call it as a passion that's my of course the family you saw basically we'll start with the chess i am a chess player but now i am more for promotion encouraging and you know funding um yes we have a beautiful slogan winners never quit and quitters never win this is an important message i always tell to everyone so basically we started with the chess from learned from my father i am not the person who went to any coaching centers later of course we developed uh, in balari then of course i was champion there and then of course under the teachers category as i climbed to the ladder and then later we family members he started one tournament in my father's name which has been going on in our area and i promoting the chess in our region for last uh, almost three decades encourage the young to come up many of our people from our uh, students have participated in the national chess tournaments also and chess coaching we do in my house basement as a president of udupi district chess association conducted almost more than 100 tournaments and uh, of course there is a pressure to become the president but because i am here and i cannot take the responsibility as of today i am the honorary president of karnataka chess association yes these are some of my you know this is my younger college day and of course this is later as i climbed up the ladder so in my father's name kalya devarashan a memorial chess tournament as you see you can see here it's a great you know the satisfaction you get when you encourage these students and children all the categories under 5 7 9 11 15 like that girls and boys separate category you can see here myself here and that is what gives the maximum satisfaction now yes ably supported of course my mother is not there now but she was very actively involved in all these activities whenever we conduct the chess tournament and in my institution if you see here national fide and national blind chess and this ibca is nothing but international braille chess association from there we have conducted a braille chess asia in manipal first time in the history of karnataka and you can see that the charudatta jadav is the president of this totally blind but they play better chess than all of us of course that time uh, our super in the police was uh, anomaly in that time in manipal if you see recently just olympiad that you know torch was brought from chennai to mangalore i was here and two grand masters from karnataka you know tej kumar from mysore and stanley from shivamogga now coming back to singing you know this i learned from my gurus in childhood that's me in balari and you know i always keep some time to myself you know not only singing and it should be silent listener too my morning starts with the bhajans and end with the hindi old song i like kannada and hindi melodious rather any language in fact i can listen and now of course sing with the karaoke tracks yes we have collected innumerable cds cassettes tapes etc 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 and you know now the fate of those cds always you know, you always wife scolds you why did you collect 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 is what happens but then important thing is a hobby to keep yourself cool calm you know and as a special singing for me balari i got a gift that is my wife i always tell that uh, i got my life and wife from balari this typical you know balari days and i said i start with the alexa with the good morning with any 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 song you want bhajan here whether sabim singh you share everything end with the caravan of 
carrying more than 60,000 old songs here. So, and YouTube, of course, recently, during the COVID time, there was a pressure for me to, you know, give some, you know, some kind of a calm and uh, things to my family and uh, hospital nurses or whoever it is. I started singing suggestion given by Shivaram to put it in YouTube. And that's what happened. And this is how it is. I have also, you know, encouraged my daughters to sing. This is the two year 2000 one old song, South Sal Pehel and Duet. And this is during the COVID time. And I have got a, I'm not a great, great singer, but it's a hobby and a passion. Thank you very much for patient hearing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir, for presenting because everyone across Karnataka, across India knows as a young budding surgeon must have read your book. But we know why your brain is so sharp now, playing chess and relaxing and speaking out your heart with the singing. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your enlightenment. Yeah, we will move on to our uh, next speaker, uh, who is also our past chairman of state chapter in 2018-19 from Chikkodi, uh, Dr. Dayan Nuli. Uh, he will be speaking on writing books in Canada. Uh, sir, over to you, Dr. Dayan Nuli. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Passion other than surgery. Next slide, please. What is passion? The Webster dictionary says a strong liking or a desire for devotion to some activity. Uh, that is the dictionary meaning. Passion is, hello, don't move so fast. Passion is an intense emotion, a compelling enthusiasm or desire for something. Next. So we should uh, define what is passion and what is vision. When we say passion, it has got some purpose. Why we do it? But mission is usually with a business purpose, to earn money. So we should define that. What is passion and what is mission? Next. So passion has a purpose. What purpose it will be having? It will be showing a light. Passion shows a light through which we walk in that way. The light falls off automatically on that way but uh, it has got a purpose definitely it has got a purpose for the journey next so passion is an energy it's an energy feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you so when we look at this already we surgeons are already we are intelligent people we have a profession called as surgery we are, some are working in uh, medical college, some are practicing, some are in medical officer field, like profession is there, vocation is there, passion and mission, not only for surgery, also we have certain habits, that's why this meeting has been organized. So we should know where, what you are good at and what you love doing what. Are we doing it only for getting paid? No, we are good at and we enjoy out of it. That is called as passion. That's why, next slide, please. Now, what was my passion is, I thought instead of doing external journey, I should go into internal journey. They talk a lot of things, meditation, chakras, and even religious aspects. Even Western people are spending a lot of money on that. So many gurus are there. So what is it exactly? Is there any scientific study on this? So with that intention, I started writing my books. Next slide, please. So already three, this one has come. First, a short story book, book called as Nehal. It mainly dealt with the division of India, how painful it was. And it won the prize from the district Sahitya Academy. Next, uh, so many vachanas are there of our sharnas. Are they dealing with any health concepts? So I uh, wrote, uh, I, did a, I uh, studied extensively on all the vachanas and uh, uh, some of the vachanas I took in this book and told, is there any impact of uh, health in that? I divided them into social, uh, physical, as well as about the food. All those things, I, uh, I wrote a book on that. Vachanagadali Arogya the Parikalpana. And this was given uh, free of cost in the uh, sur surgery conference held at uh, Bellari. Recently, I wrote a mega novel of uh, nearly 1,000 people on a Maru Shankaradevaru. He is a 
Afghani Sufi Sant who comes to Basavakalyan in search of what is this Prasad. Prasad concept is not seen in any other religion except in Hindu religion. So with that intention, I started writing in the Corona period, but uh, to make it small, it went up to 1000 pages today. Uh, we are doing Zoom meetings on that and it is getting appreciated uh, all over the state. Already the second print is going for. So with that, what I want to say is with this of my passion, why I write in books, why I spend time is it gives me peace, it gives me pleasure, and of course, it gives me purification where I stand. And that's how I am today very good with my patients and my profession. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, sir. You finished within the time. And uh, looking at your passion, uh, that to writing an article itself is it requires so much of creativity and you have written a thousand page novel uh, that to researching in a 12th century Maha Saint. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thanks thank for enlightening you, about this. Uh, and thanks for participating also. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We will move on to our next speaker. As we have many speakers with a lot of talent, we need to move on a little bit fast. So I call upon Dr. Arvind Patel, again, uh, our past chairman of Karnataka chapter from Ballari. And uh, his topic is explore, enjoy, be with the nature. Sir, over to you, Dr. Arvind Patel. Uh, good evening. Nando topic explore, enjoy, and be with the nature. Bega aayi ne mushtale mukse koskar kanada dalay help bitha na. Ye matam dalay na daage. Next slide. Uh, Savala Bumi and Ado on the Pushina Tegat Konde, a Saval Modulo Nano Bumi Tagandaga, Idian is a cancer silo, either Lien Bele de Layak, Tagunda and Theatre Ronto, Namakel Snaitro, Upinangri do, Upu Sigate Ilianta, Theatre Ronto, on the Hulu, Kadikuda, otherly Belita Irlilla, electrical conductivity and Theatre Way, it was more than ten, and re reverse osmosis on the Andre Elegal in the Perige, nutrients hook the Kanta on the Paristitito on the Hatta and Nerdo worship the lay, Hecha Kadame on the Yolk Keregalana Madidene, Nimbe, Mamu Mate Kabuigi, Danakaru, Koli, Kuri, Nai, Lopura, Nama, Volda Lidave, Hatta and Nerdo, Pakshi Prabe de Galo, E. Kereg Bandaga, one Ritia, Mini Rangan Titu and Rite Kanate, Iti Chege on the boating, under an unboating Antini Urela youngster so. Kayak and Taradena, Obre of Rogado, Idupuda, Nama Valadali Ideiga, Itechia on the Hatta Kanta, hundred to hundred and fifty members of meeting Saha Madabodo, Nama Kavigo Stigulo Matana, Massia Mikuda Madlike, Anukula Tigalana, Iga, Marta Ide. Yeldene do, next slide. E Nadadano to Karnataka on the Samajamuki Patriki of the end on the Karakramona, airport is like the day. Idrali new Kantai Rodo, BR Il Sali on the Karakramadeli, Soliga community or Jote Eli on the Sandarshana, Mate Aderitelli now Sandurna Limadaga, a Lambani or on the Jivana Krama, Mate Kapatu Kutada on the Parisara Gadago, Ivello Kuda Nan Hodantavo, Agagi Karakram Galli, Udesha and Pantandra, Ali, and the local traditions, so local art, local food habits of Kuda, Namige. Nodlike Sigate. Next slide. Matondo, Istala Yervagi, the Jotaga literary activities. So, Andre, uh, Wondery Tele, Samaja Dondige Mate, uh, Parisar Dondige, even though literary activities could either way, Muru, Kavana Sankarnagal Vandidawe, on the Yerdo, uh, Anuva the Garana, Madi Dene, otherly Wondo, Edith Nespit or do. Hatamutura Nalkara on the railway children and the Kadam Bri Kanadeke were the Dene, Ramendra Kumar or a checkmate on the Kadam Dena, Kanadeke and Wadi Sidene, Iti Chikanadanta Balari Jilla, Kanada Saita Same and other Sarva Dexia Adanta Sandar Buddha, one the photo, Mate, Balari Vodavasha, Vishoka with Same and Arnazing Chairman Nanagite, Adanin to Deshadinda, Berbere Pasha, Kavigado, Panditru. Next slide, please. Inondo Nanaka Bala was in the sports in the Bala Wuchanti Herbodo, Polish Jimkana, Novondo, Samstena, Kevlo, Wombate Tingradalina, Katedwe, Ido, world class and the 
ಬಹಳ ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದಲ್ಲ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಂತರೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಆರರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಟೆನ್ನಿಸ್ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಒಂದು ಹದಿನಾರು ದೇಶದ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಪಟುಗಳು ಬಂದು ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಟೆನ್ನಿಸ್ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ಟೂರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೆಸರು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ನು ಊರೂರು ಸುತ್ತದು ಕಾಡು ಸುತ್ತದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹುಚ್ಚು ಕೂಡ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದಾಗ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಫಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪಕ್ಷಿಗಳನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳನ್ನ ಹಿಡಿತಕ್ಕಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸಮಾಜವನ್ನ ತಿದ್ದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಓಡಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಒಂದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ನೋವನ್ನು ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದಾಗ ಟ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕು ಈಗ ನನ್ನ ಲೆಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಸಾವಿರ ಮೂವತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸುಡುಗಾಡುಗಳು ಸುಡುಗಾಡಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಟ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಮಗಳ ಮದುವೆಗೆ ಐದು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸ್ಯಾಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಎನ್ವಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಗೆ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸಾವಿರ ಕರ್ಬೇವಿನ ಸಸಿಗಳನ್ನ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಕೊನೆಗೆ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹಸಿಕಾನಿಗೂ ಯಾಕೆ ಬಿಡಬಾರ್ದು ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಮಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಗಿಡಗಳನ್ನ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಾಗ ಗಿಡಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟದ್ದುಂಟು ಕೊನೆಯದಾಗಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತವಾಗಿ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಮಾಡುವ ಒಂದು ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಇದೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಪೈಸ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಅದನ್ನ ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಚಂಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಆಟ ಆಡಿದಂತವನು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ಹತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ಸೆಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ವೈದ್ಯ ವೃತ್ತಿ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ನನಗಿದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದವರು ಬಹಳ ಇದಾರೆ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ್ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿ ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿದ್ದೇಶ್ ಸರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಕೂಡ ನನಗೆ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಿಜ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೂ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ನನ್ನೊಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ರರಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಫ್ಯಾಬುಲಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಸಿಸಿವ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಿಸಿಜನ್ ಹಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಭದ್ರಾವತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಓವರ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಜನರಲ್ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಇನ್ ಭದ್ರಾವತಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಸಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೋ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಕೀಪ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮೈ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಜಿಯಾಲಜಿ ವಿತ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿಜುವಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ
electromagnetic waves become light only in the optic cortex of our brains. So hence, without visual faculty, there is no light. So my contention is that there is light because of sight. Next. So to explain it still further and drive home my point, uh, let us imagine, let us take, for example, a blind person. For a blind person, light is meaningless and non-existent. He cannot see because he doesn't have the visual faculty. Even though electromagnetic waves are all around him, he cannot perceive them, he cannot comprehend them. Oh, so light is meaningless for a blind person. So imagine the entire humanity is blind. Imagine that the visual faculty has not evolved at all in the animal kingdom, including human beings. Then what? Where is light? There's no light. Even though electromagnetic waves are there all wrong, there is uh, no perception or there is no comprehension of the electromagnetic waves as light. These electromagnetic waves have been existing ever since the creation of the universe, but they were comprehended as light only with the evolution of visual faculty in animals and human kingdom. So, without visual faculty, there is no light. Next slide. Without visual faculty, light is meaningless and non existent. Next. Hence, my contention is that there is light only because of sight. Next. So, let us give a philosophical connotation to my argument. Uh, I will ask you why God gave us our vision. Why the human uh, 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 mechanism of visual faculty, rods and cones, why the rods and cones developed only with a particular biochemical configuration so as to respond to and react only to the web wire portion of the electromagnetic spectrum? Why not to the infrared, ultraviolet, or gamma rays or X rays? Because the answer is very simple. The answer is not scientific. The answer is philosophical. Because God intended us to have Vipkayor vision. God wanted us to have Vipkayor vision because he wanted us to see a colorful universe, a colorful world. He did not want us to have infrared vision, ultraviolet vision, gamma ray vision, or X-ray vision. Because he did not want us to see a colorless, hazy, dull and drab world. Next. So he gave us, he bestowed upon us a Vibkayor vision because he wanted us to enjoy a colorful world. Next. Next slide, please. So I am going to give you uh, three, three, three years. I am going to give you certain quotations of uh, great scientists uh, who have got a philosophical bent of mind. Albert Einstein said, reality is but an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. And uh, the other scientist, Stephen Hawking said, we see the universe the way it is because we exist. He also said, there is a divine purpose in the creation of the universe and evolution of life. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I was so curious when you said your topic is physics, physiology and the philosophy at the now I, I understand it was so philosophical and enlightening. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we, we saw the other face of uh, life. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I request our next speaker, uh, our present chairman of KSCSI and who is also a big force behind all these activities, uh, Dr. H.V. Shivram. Uh, uh, topic is trekking, travel and cooking. Uh, over to you, sir, Dr. Shivram. Thank you, Dr. Jaka, for giving an opportunity to chairman also. <laughs> uh, we had great talks, and I'm very happy that the passions of so many surgeons, we are able to bring it to the notice of everybody. Anyway, surgeons are definitely passionate about their surgery, but they're also passionate about so many other things. So if you ask me, I have a great passion to travel. Um, traveled about 32 countries and also other places in India. I was in army for five years and every three months, every six months, they used to send us for temporary duties. So there was a lot of travel. After that, we have a lot of travel groups 
where Dr. Lakshman is also there. We travel a lot. It's a great learning opportunity. My only advice for travelers is please prepare and travel. There are a lot of blogs and YouTube. See them and then go. You will understand better. You'll get exposure to different cultures and customs of the entire world. It's much of, much of adventure and also exploration. Personality growth definitely occurs. There are a lot of things with research which shows people who have widely traveled, they have their personal, personal growth is much more and knowledge. And building relationships, definitely will build relationships with so many other people. So this is uh, the lake, then just to show some photos and then Great Wall of China. This was Iguazu Falls where Dr. Ramchandra was also there. And uh, recently Tanjauru, one of the greatest temple, the Machu Picchu, you should never miss. And uh, Sydney, all so many places we have traveled. And this is Iceland, you should not miss where you realize when you are traveling in a bike alone and nobody else, you realize that you are lost in this world and how can we come back to this world? And a lot of adventure to, to travel is to live. And if you are not traveling enough, that means your life is not comfortable. This is the scuba diving in Australia and a lot of times with friends, we have a lot of adventurous things to do. During the COVID time also, we never stopped traveling. We traveled around Bangalore, inside Karnataka, in our own vehicle. And that was great learning experience because the traveling that time, and these are all some of our adventures. And to do any of these things, you have to be fit also. And always fitness is very important to travel. Next is when you are traveling, you will taste various types of food and never say no to tasty foods in different countries. Trekking is a travel by foot to mostly inaccessible destinations. Trekking is wonderful because you will see so many things which you can never see by air or by sea or by bus or by car. This is only possible trekking or what Dr. Lakshman said by the car journey in the without roads. There are usually four types of trekking, easy trekking, which all of us do moderate and strenuous and difficult or high altitude uh, treks. It gives us physical, mental, and emotional fitness. It's adventure and you challenge yourself and always we can see the pure nature and appreciate that. We have traveled a lot of areas that is trekking by trek, by foot, there are special equipment sometimes required. Then forthcoming treks are Dev Tibba, that is Himalayan trek, where uh, Dr. Tanga is also joining us, Dr. Lakshman is also coming, and then Mount Kilimanjaro in July, where my daughter also will join. Trekking is a group activity, and uh, sometimes it is you are alone in a small tent, or you may be sharing with another person. And these are all very, very um, small, minimalistic living, you will understand. And such beautiful views we'll never see anywhere else, except checking once in a lifetime experience. And nothing is impossible. Sometimes you may have to use all your four legs and all are equal when we are traveling. There is no sex, no age, and everybody is together. There is no high or low, and it makes everybody equal. A pole, that is the trekking pole, is a good uh, 
accompaniment for us it gives like a third leg and it's be ready always to challenge yourself my other passion which started during covid was cooking i am happy that uh, none of you have come to this now but cooking is a great um, opportunity to learn ourselves and also it's like a meditation you can cook whatever you want it has lot of learning and also there is lot of similarity to surgeon it's always enjoyable and relaxing and you can experiment and new learning you will have control over ingredients than somebody else cooking if you only cook fresh whole some food healthy and it also has modi says it's atmanirbhar you are on your own and always say never say no to life your passion is your life enjoy it celebrate life and uh, apart from surgery definitely enjoy your life as a passionate person thank you very much thanks for this opportunity thank you so much sir uh, it was very wonderful you have been always known as very disciplined and uh, you will keep up to the time and also you have been motivating all the colleagues and juniors in performing the activities uh, thank you thanks for enlightening and also cooking sir we will have a party at your uh, residence sometime <laughs> thank you thank you sir uh, now over to the next speaker uh, our dynamic speaker dr shrinivas pai professor and hod from sdm dharwad who will be speaking on uh, photography so uh, over to you uh, sir dr shrinivas pai please uh, am i audible yes yes yeah i am uh, the introduction is done i thank the association for giving me a chance to speak to save time i'll go on directly to the topic so i have always said that one must have three hobbies one to earn money one for the body and one for the soul so uh, one to earn money we already have that is uh, we uh, are surgeons and we work for it one for the body is the fitness what they said trekking and other things are one for the soul so my passion for the soul is uh martin next slide martin can i have the next slide yeah so i visit the forest now why i visit the forest is to lose my mind and find my soul that's what i keep saying to lose my mind because i forget about all my surgery and all its complications and all the administrative work just i have seen just a one hour visit to the forest or two hour visit to the forest is like being one week away from work next slide uh, mat so wildlife viewing and visiting the forest is my passion i uh, take photographs to document my journey so that uh, i can remember i can come back any time i cannot go to the forest i can uh, visit those photographs and i can go through the through my photographs into the forest now why i took up uh, a hobby like photography is to paint with light to paint with light okay. it taught me a very important trait patience it taught me to introspect when i go to the forest and take photography waiting for the animal to come the trait of patience develops and also at that time we introspect what could have been what has to be all these things it is like a meditation somebody is saying that cooking is like a meditation it totally calms the mind totally forget takes you away from surgery calms the mind uh, also the uh, skill of photography is like surgery only you use your hands you try to take photos which don't uh, have any blur same thing like surgery it improves the hand skills so one more passion i had i did not mention was poetry but i thought there's already a poetry there so that's a very private passion that's for some other day so what what gear do i sh uh, shoot with i shoot with high end cameras and high end lenses similar to what professor arvind patel had said the expensive ones that that's because i know how to use them i started at a very uh, uh, low uh, cost uh, cameras and lenses and quickly i realized that they are not uh, suiting my uh, type of photography so i quickly switched on one should avoid the tip number one one should avoid gas in photography gas is gear acquisition syndrome you keep on buying gear and you run out of money the best equipment remember is the one you have next slide martin 
So some tips for those who want to take up photography as a passion or those who want to, uh, to uh, uh, take, take this up. So we do not do photography, we capture images. There's a difference between an image and a photograph. A photograph tells that tells a story is an image. So whatever photography you do, it should be an image. For that, you have to anticipate. You do not take all and sundry uh, photo, uh, photographs. Whatever comes to your uh, in your way, we do not take that. We wait for it to be a story. So for that, we have to anticipate and we have to follow what is called as a decisive moment. The decisive moment is a second, a millisecond. It's one moment in which the elements of the photograph attain balance and we must seize this moment. Then only the photograph becomes an image. And remember that just like surgery, just like surgery, photography has a uh, so photography is a passion where patience rewards you. Patience is a virtue common to both. Next slide, Martin. So some of the images I took, uh, which I felt is a recent ones and some are old. Next slide, Martin. Next slide. These are all having decided, no, previous slide, Martin. The elephant photo is the one that my, my photographs appear in national magazines. Some of you may have come across. The photograph of the elephant is an award-winning photograph. Okay, It now sits in a medical oncologist office in New York because uh, uh, she wanted it. So there's only one copy of this because I felt that if it's sitting in her onco clinic for her pediatric onco patients, I don't think nobody else should have that image. But this image did win an award in the Better Photography magazine. I do write for Deccan Herald. I do write for Times uh, of India. My articles have appeared, photographs have appeared numerous times. Next slide. Now this photograph, I actually sold it because I decided that I should monetize my hobby also. Somebody had pointed out some time back. See, I need to buy expensive gear. I can't, uh, the surgery is different, but uh, photography should support my photography. So I decided somewhere along the line, some people wanted to buy it. So this is sold to a travel company. It's a logo of a travel company now for an undisclosed sum. Next slide. And the last one probably, Martin. Ah, this photograph is an image. Okay. The reason why this photograph is an image, it sits in a pediatrician's uh, uh, hospital because she wants my classmates, all my classmates are doctors in various places of the world. She said, I want this photograph. Some... So this photograph uh, is a message. The message is about leadership. My style of leadership has always been to lead from the front. So th this, mess this elephant, the mother elephant, the matriarch, is leading her uh, little elephants to the water, showing the way to the water. There is some other message in this uh, uh, image. It shows the enormous, uh, the uh, magnitude of the forest. So how big the forest is compared to the elephant? which is the largest terrestrial animal in the, in the world, largest terrestrial mammal in our country, the Indian elephant. It shows how big the mother earth is compared to uh, an elephant. It also shows the river. The river is the life of the forest. So whichever way the viewer wants to see, he can uh, take the message. So an image is a photograph where people can take a message out of it. And thank you everyone for the patient listening. My reason for Taking up wildlife photography is I grew up in a desert. My father was a doctor in Oman, which is a desert. Nothing grows there. Just uh, sand and uh, gravel. It's very hot. So no animal lives there. So naturally, I was fascinated by them. Thank you for the patient listening. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You had a very amazing photography. Uh, we, we really enjoyed it. And uh, your thoughts are very abstract. So we, we will definitely enjoy the next coming conference also under uh, this one. Um, yeah. All are welcome and the teaser is out in a couple of days. So please uh, log in and get it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I, I'll call upon our next speaker, uh, Dr. Niranjan PB from Shumoga. Uh, he will be speaking on short stories and uh, stand up comedy. Uh, over to you, Dr. Niranjan, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm Dr. Niranjan. I'm Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are audible. Hello? You are audible. Yes, yes. yes. Ah, thank you. Sir, na, yeah. 
ನಾನು ಇವತ್ತು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೇ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಲ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ದಡ್ಬಡಿ ಮಗನೇ ಅನ್ನಿ ಅದ್ರ ಫೀಲಿಂಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸೊ ಬೈಲಿ ಒಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಖುಷಿ ಕೊಡ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಮಾತೃಭಾಷೆಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಭಾರಿ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾತೃಭಾಷೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ನಂಗೆ ಜೋಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾನು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೇ ಮಾತಾಡೋಣ ಅನ್ಕೋತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಅದು ನನ್ನ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ರು ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ನಂಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಪೈ ಸರ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಎವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇದೆ ಎವಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ದುಡ್ಡು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆ ಅಣ್ಣವ್ರ ಹಾಡ್ ಕೇಳ್ದೆ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಬನ್ನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ನಾನು ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗದಿಂದ ಇರೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಮೋಷನ್ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಬನ್ನಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗಾಡಿ ಹತ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಜೋಗ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಜೋಗ್ ನೋಡಕ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರು ಜೀವನ ಇರೋದು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಜೋಗ್ ನೋಡಿ ಅಂದ್ರು ಅಣ್ಣವ್ರು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಓಕೆ ಜೋಗ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಂದೆ ಹಂಗ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಣ್ ಅಣ್ಣವ್ರು ಜೀವನ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂದ್ರು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾ ಜೀವನ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಸಂಜೆ ಹೊತ್ತು ಆಕಾಶ ಹೋಗಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರಗಳಿದೆ ಆ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಗ್ರಹಗಳಂತೆ ಗ್ರಹಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಜಲಪಾತ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಲ್ಕೇನು ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಗುಡ್ಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಂದೆ ತಿರುಗ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫುಲ್ ಅರ್ಥೆ ಗ್ಯಾಲಕ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ ಅಂತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಅರ್ಥೆ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತೆ ಸೊ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅದು ವೇಸ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಂಗಾರೆ ಇನ್ನೇನಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಮಾಡು ಅಂತಾನೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡ ಅಂತಾನೆ ದೋಸೆ ತಿರ್ವಾಗ್ತಂಗೆ ಏನೋ ನಾವು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾವನೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ನೀವು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾ ಬಟ್ ನಿಜ ಹೇಳ ಸರ್ ನಿಜವಾದ ಕಾರಣ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ತರ ಅದೊಂದು ಇದೊಂದು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ ನಾನು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸೌತ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿದ್ದು ನಾನು ಓಡಾಡುವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ರಿಚ್ ಜನ ಯಾರಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ಜನ್ಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ್ ಸರ್ ಶಿವರಾಮ್ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ ಜಾಕ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕಡೆನೇ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎವಿ ರಿಚ್ ನಾನೇ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಯಸ್ಸಿಂದ ಓಕೆ ರಿಚ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆದೆ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಂಗ್ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಈ ತರ ಹಂಗೆ ಜಾಕ ಸರ್ ಶಿವರಾಮ್ ಸರ್ ಈ ತರ ಹಂಗೆ ಓಡಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹಿಂಗ ಇರ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಓ ಬಾರಿ ಖುಷಿ ಪುಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ನಾನು ಇದೇ ನಂದು ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾನು ಸರ್ಜರಿ ತಗೊಂಡೆ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಮೇಲೆ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾ ಇದು ನನ್ನ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಇವಾಗ ಮೂವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಸರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಜಾಕ ಸರ್ದು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮೈ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಸರ್ ಹಂಗ್ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮೈ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಮನಿ ಅಂತ ಹಾಕಿದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಮನಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಮನಿ ಅಂತಾರೆ ನಂಗೆ ತಲೆ ಕೆಟ್ಟ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಂಗಪ್ಪ ಇವರು ಇವರೊಬ್ರು ಮಾತ್ರ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಮನಿ ಅಂತವ್ರಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನೋ ತಪ್ಪಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾನೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಹೌ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಾಕ ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಓದಿದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಗೂಗಲ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ
poetic refractions uh, over to dr naz sheik yes please dr naz naz unmute hi yeah yes yes sir go back to first slide no yes Um, am I audible, sir? Yes. yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. As the surgeon holds the slender quill, the soul now is calm and still. The quill moves with gentle strokes, and a verse is scripted from the umpteen scars. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank KCSI for this wonderful program. I and I feel honored and blessed today to share this. Uh, screen on the zoom platform with so many great people with great passions and i would be deliberating on poetic refractions and a few other hobbies of mine all of you would have come across this poem what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare by w h davis and in emphasizing the importance of leisure and our, uh, and uh, 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 giving time to our hobbies i would compare our lives to a prism and we are the light passing through it and as we emerge we create a, we generate a spectrum and most of our life is spent on a career and profession and the rest of the spectrum is dimmed out but it is important that we give give uh, give our time to all our different aspects and uh, celebrate life now coming to surgeons and poetry uh we all know we are all poets and we just have to uh, dig deep into us and find out what we can write uh the greatest example is sir zachary cope who wrote a, a book on uh, that is zeta diagnosis of acute abdomen in rhyme and a good surgeon just doesn't concentrate only on technical ability but also on the appropriateness of what he is doing and if the surgeon is like a poet then the scars he or she has made on countless bodies are like verses into the fa fashioning of which he has poured his his or her soul these are some of the books uh, where i have uh, shared my poetry in along with other different uh, poets and across the globe uh, i write on different medical related topics and i have the uh, like poem on a gall bladder fistula in ano uh, on ultrasound a her on the hernia breast lump on trauma care on diabetic foot on uh, appendicitis and on the uh, uh, gossipi gossipi boma and uh, also on various calcula in the body and i give a full credit to dr c s rajan who inspired me to start this and he also encouraged me to publish it in indian journal of surgery and four of them have been published in indian journal of surgery now this is one that is feeble cry from the womb is on female feticide this has been published in various uh, national magazines and uh, it also adorns the uh, waiting room of many uh, uh, consult many consultation consultants uh, across the state where we uh, distributed it during the state uh, level ima conference and on the right side is on the diabetic foot where we get to understand what a patient with a diabetic foot feels when she, once he develops uh, all these changes i write poetry on day to day topics like this one was on a 22 degree halo which we happened to see last year this one was on the uh, uh, earrings which a mother had presented to meera bai chennu uh, who won the you know, olympics medal and same thing with the uh, neeraj who won the medal for the medal in, uh, in the last olympics uh the other hobbies which i have are i we also distribute saplings to every patient who gets discharged after the successful surgery and uh, these people uh, volunteer to take them and it is 100% successful because they planted uh, on behalf on uh, for their for they say that they want to take it for their good health we also distribute saplings in various schools this is the latest uh, hobby which i have started now which uh, i have uh, started the charcoal drawing and uh, just for trying to improvise the day by day and travel is something having apart from regular travels like uh, just going and visiting places uh, to about 25 to 30 countries but then uh, this one the, the latest one is from the last two years we are going trekking and i agree with dr shivram that this requires not only 
uh, a good preparation both physical and mental it it also makes you uh, go along with your team here you are not a not a man or a woman you are just a participant and uh, uh, th th uh, this the, the trek the top on the top was to the hamta pass where we could not go to the summit because of heavy rains and then we had to the the path got so slippery and there was a lot of slush so we had to wait for two days for the storm to subside and we were just left to nature with the tents even flying off and uh, we felt that we would never be coming live again and all of us were literally singing in our minds that i am alik tere bande hum and but then somehow god listened to our prayers and we came back and the, this one was where we reached the summit and uh, these all these treks and all these uh, tours are good when your family is a part of it and you really enjoy being with them and then life is a musical instrument and the various strings give different notes one cannot get music by playing a single string for a great music play them all and create your own symphony and many a times you want to do something if you cannot really do it at least try and edit it life is beautiful just celebrate it thank you yeah, thank you dr nas you are not only just a dynamic surgeon we know that uh, you are uh, dynamic in so many things and your uh, poetry you you pick any topic you have a good wording and you make a mal out of it thank you so much you. and uh, gifting a tree at the uh, when patient get discharge is a great uh, great great initiative uh, really hats off to you thank you so much uh, over to our next speaker uh, our dynamic dr uh, venkata chala our ec member uh, who will be speaking on wildlife uh, photography uh, over to you sir dr venkata chala yes please venkata you have to unmute because he is sitting in cabin probably i don't know signals okay. oh, no, no, not a problem i do, i not okay. uh, at this yes but to see me no okay yeah yes thank you very much dr jaka dr shivaram sir uh, one of my passions is wildlife photography other than this no i know i am into fitness and uh, also bonsai and orchid gardening and cocktail mixing traveling but uh, some a bit of poetry writing also Wow. what started is like photographs like this which you see online with my friends so some of the photographs which i have taken at ranthambore so uh, what happened is a, a wildlife safari once you know started at kabini itself nagarole with my family and that's where i met dr gubbi first he is uh, my senior in school and also uh, stays in my area but i had never met him and uh, interactive tours with wildlife enthusiasts like gubbi and dr prashant bn in tumkur dr pravin my classmate dr venkatesh a physician dr sridhar a radiation oncologist and we started enjoying the beauty of nature and a feeling of oneness with nature gradually we got better cameras whatever cameras we had earlier we were not happy with the photographs because others had were clicking better photos so we got in good lenses under the guidance of our uh, so called seniors in photography we gradually improved on their photography and editing uh, skills also as we made more and more tours so we basically it is uh, partners in the same crime we should have partners in the same crime so same uh, you know mental disorders so maybe have a few teams now who are regular at safaris i know dr shivaram has also been with us he has enjoyed a few safaris with us we will again next time in next month in kabini we are there together so clicking uh, such photographs it's not easy to sight a tiger the whole day today evening we wasted no we couldn't get tigers but luckily we got two leopards because leopard sighting is more difficult so many such photographs videos nowadays now the driver is until i get a special shot special uh, view or uh, snap i will not angle i will not uh, click my camera because there are so many photos with me already so 
clicks like this last minute sightings you no know, 9 o'clock 9 o'clock the safari ends and you get the tigress is moving in front of you and not ready to go out tigress coming out of the water rantambur's photos the coveted black panther of kabini which draws in so drew in so many stories from across the world and with so many, after so many safaris we were able to sight the black panther ones leopards are quite common here we have a biggest le- population of leopards tigers crested ox eagles wild dogs elephants in karnataka on a jalana and you can see that no this getting three leopards in one frame is not easy and uh, also herd of elephants are quite common today we saw lots of elephants lots and lots of elephants the maximum i have seen till date bear sighting is not easy you should be lucky to sight bears lucky to share uh, sight a python only once i have sighted in a uh, python in my safaris and then no what fascinates us most is we see the birds are more colorful we are seeing the same tiger the same deer the same leopard the same uh, elephants but birds there are so many birds we numerable number of birds sighting them some are very rare no not easy to sight them every time sighting them in the flight mode which is not easy you no know, to capture against the skylight the skylight the camera won't click at all because you need a object and backdrop to fix the image so again uh, no flight modes are not easy so to vultures are no endangered species no the much more endangered than the tigers because the survey only on dead and decaying matter and we are lucky to sight no two dozen vultures at one go tree pipe barbits glossy ibis flight modes of uh, thing uh, uh, the painted stock this is bharatpur if somebody is interested in birding please go to bharatpur if somebody is interested in you know, interested in game you can go to kana bandavgarh rantambur and our own karnataka so ultimately what we feel is just taking photography sharing our photos seeing them in different angles that is not photography when we come on come see that conservation of the ecosystem is of importance otherwise not only the next generation even we will not be able to sight the wild animals and the the beauty of nature and also understand that we are also living beings so we have to exist with the nature we cannot exist without by destroying the nature we have to understand the behavior of the wildlife whatever cruel they are you see the mother you no know, taking care of the cub the mother elephant taking care of the calf the deer taking care of the fawn so you see that they are also they are also like us so they take care of their wildlife they, they attack us only when they are threat, uh, threatened but we go and kill them or destroy them poaching and other things so wildlife has to be protected that is why we have to get into wildlife and see that they are conserved the more you are closer to nature and wildlife the better we feel for the environment we want to protect the environment thank you very much yeah uh, thank you dr ventajala it was a, a great uh, motivation and we know apart from this you are also a great runner so yeah that there is another day for that yes 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 so we enjoyed your uh, photography and we will be doing it in uh, next our camp also in kabini thank camp you. thank you yes. thank you so much for participating thanks dr yeah. jakun dr shiram sir thank you thank you yeah we'll go on to our next speaker uh very beautiful uh, painter uh, dr manjunath uh, bedigere associate professor in uh, bsc uh, over to dr manjunath uh, sir am i audible sir yes yes please yes. yeah thank you chairman sir jaka sir all uh, ksci uh, members cc members for this wonderful opportunity for me for all of us uh, this is uh, one of my paintings i have other hobbies also i have a blog i skip reality where i write a bit of poetry i write my uh, related medicine and it i am a, a simple photographer and uh, i have visited about 40 uh, hoysala temples i am interested in hoysala architecture and hoysala literature so that is one of my other things but i'll 
because of the time limits, I'll just concentrate on my painting. Um, painting, I like to stress upon two things. And uh, the obvious one is that painting and surgery are very closely related and they are very, very uh, intermingled, cannot be easily separated because basically painting and uh, the surgery are all anatomy, and structure, design, aesthetics, and things like that. So, and the second thing which I want to tell you is that painting is very, very relaxing and it is uh, uh, distressing for us surgeons after going through a bit of a uh, difficult surgery, difficult things at the hospital and we come and do something. It gives me, for me, it's a very motivating thing and it's a, obviously very distressing. And it's a very simple thing. This painting self-portrait is done only a blue colored pencil. That's it. Nothing, don't go anywhere. Don't buy anything very costly. Very simple. Next like this. This is again, uh, I, why I'm putting this is a distressing thing. This is, uh, uh, I did this painting in the hotel room when I was in COVID quarantine. After seeing a bit of ads, this is my own creation uh, with the scars on the face. Uh, health worker. Uh, so after coming from the COVID duties, uh, this is very relaxing. Next slide, please. Again, this one was uh, uh, from a photograph I took uh, after my COVID duty ended at about 2 a.m. in the morning. I had declared about uh, 15 minutes in some six hours. So I went back uh, to the hotel room at two o'clock in the night. And then I saw toward the east the sun was in the very early, I think it was something like 4 or 4.30 in the morning. So I took this photograph, but obviously I have put added additional things like trees and things. It was above the city horizon when I took the photograph. It's a mixed thing. So it, the colors, the brightness in the uh, sky, and how putting that into the uh, image, putting that into the painting is a lot relaxing and forgetting that COVID, uh, what do you call it? Airiness. So this is one thing I wanted to tell you. Mainly, I want to tell that stressing, distressing. Stress is gone. That's the thing. Next slide, please. This again, I've, I'm trying to impress upon that painting is just anatomy, structure, design. So uh, the one I put the kidney vasculature in this lady's face. This I did for one of my nephrologist friend. So I've tried to uh, implement anatomy of the face with the anatomy of the kidney also. So this is uh, trying to combine the effects of surgery and uh, anatomy with painting. The right one is again tulips and roses, uh, structure, design, something like surgery. Next slide, please. Uh, this is my last slide. This is uh, all my uh, uh, very simple paintings I've done. Uh, the tractor thing is my from my village, my agricultural field, where they're sowing peanuts. Um, the upper left with some flowers is, uh, I've done that with, in less than 10 minutes. This is uh, just after some surgery, after the procedure, I came back home, wanted to do something, uh, sc uh, scrambled something, put something on the paper. It's done on uh, uh, rough paper. Again, the same, another different, uh, uh, every painting has a story. Uh, there's no time. So just, I must want to tell you uh, that uh, painting is a necessary skill for surgeons uh, because uh, drawing, sketching, uh, making images, it has to be a part of our lifestyle. It's very needed. It's a necessary skill for surgeons. That's what I want to stress up. And obviously it is very relaxing. You don't have to have costly equipment. You don't have to go anywhere. You can sit in OPD, draw something in the pen, uh, dry and draw something for the patients. No, it's always helpful if you are a bit skillful. And uh, uh, so it's very motivating, very relaxing, helps you in surgery. So I don't have to, I want uh, seniors to help the juniors, students to ask them to make small uh, diagrams, uh, small sketches in their work. So that is what I want to convey. Uh, thank you for again for this great opportunity, sir. Jaka, sir. Churan, sir. Thank you. Yeah, th thank you so much. They were, they were amazing painting. They were not just simple paintings. 
you have put out your thoughts so much and uh, it is spontaneous so they were and thank you sir yeah yeah always a surgeon who has got a good finger movements in, in terms of I, i i also say always surgery is an art so this all this is also an art in that way uh, it's really excellent the way your fingers move and make this a beautiful painting i i we really admire, admire this thank you so much uh, thank you sir. and we go to our next speaker uh, dr prashant b n uh, president of our uh, tumkur city branch will be speaking on wildlife nature birds and sky hobby photography uh, dr prashant uh, uh, over yeah. to you please thank you sir uh, thank you very much uh, for the uh, opportunity given uh, to the office bearers uh thank my teacher dr siddesh and all my friends uh today i will restrict my talk to wildlife photography and uh, uh can you uh, put the next slide please before going on to wildlife photography uh, uh, it may be a, a mix up between uh, dr pai and dr venkatachala and i would like to put some things we'll just know what is wildlife before going into photography as you all know it's a traditionally undomesticated animal species which has included organisms that grow and live why in the wild without deserts forests rainforests plain grasslands and even in urban areas so next slide why i came into this hobby and who inspired me say uh, i used to watch lot of photographies of nature birds and many things on facebook and one particular uh, doctor inspired me and uh, when i when i used to watch his photography i used to feel so happy at the end of the a uh, frame watch he had composed and it was soul touching like then one day i called this guy and spoke to him and then uh, i thought i have to go into it and started learning and he had uh, he had advised me uh, where to learn and what gear i should buy and it is none other than a surgical surgical colleague who is in uh, bellary it's dr arun sk i was so impressed by his photography that finally i ended up he, he was he is also into conservation and also formation of a new sanctuary at bellary called the darauji and why uh, what i liked and why i came into it it became an hobby for me whenever i used to get involved i used to be so happy and it was a stress relieving uh, thing for me and i used to get recharged and refreshed and it has everything uh, which uh, which we like and it can be done in any flexible hours and uh, it allows us to watch uh, very closely with the animals and their attitude and we can uh, uh, get related to this uh, nature and uh, things and it is done in flexible hours it's it's so touching that uh, uh, at the end of the day uh, it it would make us very recharging and very happy and finally this this made me an hobby and we also uh can do this uh digitally we can compose everything we can take a lot of photos it's it and we should it makes us so happy and now before going on to uh, the tips and other things i would like to uh, play my small video on uh, wildlife uh, before going on to other types and other things anyway uh, yeah uh, we will play that small uh, video which i had sent Uh, if if it can come up martin can we play the video oh
these are some of the photographs which I have taken. I have just put whatever possible in this short time. And uh, in wildlife photography, we have a lot of uh, types of photography. When you close up and take only the animal or its face, it's called the portrait. And when we take the entire environment, it's called the habitat shot. And when the animal is in action, that means it's chasing something or it's catching a prey or the bird is hooking onto a fish. Such things are called an action or behavioral photos. We also take science-based or research-based photos. And it's an art, in fact. And there's other type of photography called macro photography, wherein we go close in to take a part of a animal, maybe an eye or something like a, to an insect, a butterfly or a flower, which is called a micro photography. And human interaction and conservation photos, there's birding, nature photography, landscape, and wildlife with sky, and also silhouette, marine life photography with underwater photography. And finally, ultimately what? It's ultimately a story that we want to tell in a single frame that which makes everybody happy and it's a photo art. So when we do such things, we should be, it makes us feel relaxed, charged, motivated, and feel positive about everything and go back and do uh, better things. Uh, and then what, what tips for the beginners? Beginners. See, for wildlife, you need not have to go to faraway places or anything. Initially, you can start in a familiar environment in and around your house or near your place, start photographing certain insects and birds or butterflies, then learn how to deal with low light situations, uh, get used to your camera, try to shoot as close as possible and try to take a lot of photographs. And in one particular decisive moment, you will get that particular picture, which, which is really out of uh, the blue. So it's not, Nothing that you should take only 40 photos, 50 photos, just keep clicking. It is a digital photo. You do not have to waste anything there. And learn, we have to learn to make our photo sharp, just not only on focusing the quality of our gear and the lens is very, very important. And we should know the other basics. And we should also study the, the subject. Yeah, I think which you are time. Oh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Maybe another time we can put on everything. Thank you, sir. Uh -oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Prashant. What happens when we have so much passion? No, we keep on speaking. This <laughs> happens. And we saw some of the photos. They were so, uh, so amazing. Uh, that frog and all that uh, small crap. It's so difficult to get those moments. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, so much Thank you so, for, Thank you so much. Uh, beautifying our evening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I call upon our uh, next speaker, uh, Dr. Ramakrishna. He is a uh, president of our Shimoga City branch. And uh, he's very passionate and will be speaking on agriculture and chess. Uh, over to you, Dr. Ramakrishna. Yes, please. Sir, my screen is visible, sir. Yes. 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 Yeah. Good evening, everyone. So my previous speakers have already told what is passion and all those things. So I need not repeat it. My passion is agriculture. Recently, I bought a plot which was looking like this, full of... Uh, this uh, parthenium and weeds. So I had to till it using tractor, using cultivator and bring it to this shape. We did puja and planted the first areca sapling. Now the field is ready with drip irrigation and all the plants there. And after this uh, planting the areca, we did this uh, intercrop with banana. This is because areca to give you returns, it will take about six to seven years. And during this period, you need money for maintenance and banana will, banana or any other intercrop that will uh, fill that gap. So down the line, after a few years, I wish to see it something like this. Actually, this is my old uh, Areca plantation. This is about uh, 25 years old. Here we also have other trees and plants, something like this. We have, this teaches us, we have to share the fruits of the nature with other animals and birds. See, nature gives these fruits not only for man, but also for other animals and birds. We should be happy to share with them. We have other trees like this. This is sweet lime, that is musambi, then pepper, banana, mango. All these plants we have at our farm. And some of the things while working at the agriculture field makes me curious. One day when I went to plot, I saw four eggs. Actually, they were eggs of the peacock. With great curiosity, I used to visit and see how they are progressing each and every day. One fine morning when I went there, all have hatched and flown away. They left us some of the gift which we kept at home for decoration. 
this is another curious thing. This bird views its uh, nest at such a place and lays egg. It is totally safe, 100% safe. No snake, cat or any animal can reach there. So such curious things you find during this uh, passion. And some of the decorative items like snail shell, flowers, all these things we get. In plantation, you derive happiness when you do things, fun activities, like you can celebrate birthday, cook there, and uh, prepare a soup and a drink. But you should be ready to deal with this side effect also. You can play with the family or have lunch with the friend or uh, drink tender coconut freshly plucked from the tree. These things give you satisfaction. If you don't have any work, just sit there, relax, and you get refreshed. We have so many harvests, I have not put everything there. Why I have put this? Because although if you calculate in terms of value, it doesn't cost much. It doesn't give much returns, but the satisfaction is that we do and we are eating. These are totally contaminants free. No chemicals used, no insecticides, so they are healthy. As an extension of the passion, we have put plants everywhere at home, wherever there is place, be it sit out or terrace or even the inside the house. So these things, we can even grow uh, fruits on the pots and flowers. If you are amidst it, you feel happy and relaxed. My dream is to put all these things and a variety of flowering and uh, fruit plants in my plot to make it a destination, uh, agri-tourism. But agriculture is not all greens. We have to really work hard, literally sweat there to bring the plot into good shape and get some returns out of it. We have diseases of the uh, leaves, plants, trees, and uh, sometimes uninvited guests like this. Some of them could be dangerous too. Of course, there are other problems like uh, water scarcity, erratic rural electric supply, the labor problems. Sometimes it will disturb your profession because you have to keep on visiting the plot frequently and uh, it takes, takes away some of your time. If you think it as an investment, it may not fetch you as much money as uh, the other investment will. Of course, after uh, getting the products, you may have marketing problems also like that. The list is endless. So what I advise dear friends, Unless you have real passion for it, don't go for agriculture. If you really have passion, there is nothing like it. You definitely derive happiness. For me, I have gone all out with it. I feel genuinely happy doing agriculture. I don't mind hard work and sweating. I gain a sense of uh, achievement, pride, purpose in life. And when I am at my plot, I lose track of time. Thus, it keeps me engaged both physically as well as mentally. And it's a retirement plan too for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramkrishna. We know that uh, when we had to reduce your number of slides from 45 to uh, these many, we know that your passion is pouring over time. So uh, we had to restrict because of time, but it was very excellent and excellent learning for all of us uh, how to convert from a barren land to such a beautiful land. Uh, thank you so much for presenting in within the time. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Now we move on to our uh, next speaker, uh, Dr. Preeti, our uh, EC member, Mysore, uh, who will be speaking on uh, adventure. So I request uh, Dr. Preeti, uh, over to you, please. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Jaka, sir, for the kind introduction. The title of my presentation is Outlaw. The title seems a little weird, you may be wondering what kind of a hobby is this. Well, outlaw stands for out on land, air, and water. I repeat, out on land, air, and water. So I'll be talking about adventure, the different activities that I have done so far. Coming to the land activities, I love going on road trips. I usually take my car and go out on a long drive. And then I've also done some biking trips with my school friends. The best biking trip so far has been the Lay trip. We drove from Manali to Lay and further on to Nubra and Turtuk Valley. So this has been the most uh, beautiful and memorable, bi uh, memorable biking trip so far. Next is rappelling. Rappelling is nothing but a controlled descent down a slope. It may be a hill or a rock or a tall building using ropes. There's a small video of the same. Here we are doing rappelling next to a waterfall.
This was quite slippery actually. Next is a zip line. In zip line, strong cables are attached between two hills or tall buildings. There's a pulley given, and if we hold on to the pulley, we can zip down the cables. This I did near uh, at a place called Shilandara near Ramnagara. Coming to the treks, there are a few adventure groups at Mysore and I've recently joined them. This is a recent activity for me. And uh, we went to Ethina Buja, a hill near Chikmagalur. Coming to the air activities, I have done parasailing and paragliding. Paragliding, I did it at Manali. There's a small video of the same. Coming to the water activities, I have done river rafting, scuba diving, snorkeling, and undersea walk. Coming to river rafting, I really feel happy to share that I have done uh, rafting at few of the best places in India, namely Rishikesh, Man uh, Manali, Zanskar, and Dandeli. Rishikesh is considered as the best place to do rafting in India, mainly because of the grade four and grade five rapids, and also because of the long stretches, like 25 and 36 kilometer rafting, which can be done. Here's a small video of river rafting that I did at Rishikesh. Hara, hara, hara. Next is scuba diving. I have done it at Netrani near Murdeshwara and also at Thailand. A small video of the same. There are few more activities which I wish to do, namely bungee jumping, hot air balloon ride and skydiving, which are in my bu uh, bucket list and I hope to do it soon. Based on my little experience with adventure, few uh, suggestions which I can give would be, if you, are if you are interested in traveling, better to go in groups, either with family or with friends. It is safer that way and much more fun too. Do all these activities under supervision of authorized professional and certified groups. Please do your own research before venturing out. Carry necessary gears, tools, personal medicines, and first aid kit. Have your own backup plan. And please do cost analysis, especially if you're a travel freak and wish to travel to many places and do adventure, cost analysis becomes important. Understand the terms and conditions of each activity and that of the groups. And please stick to the itinerary. It is very tempting to deviate from the itinerary or try to do some extra adventure, which can be dangerous. And of late, there are a lot of travel and adventure groups in most of the world. Many such groups are available online too. So you can do your own research and become a member of those groups and travel with them. One such important association is the Youth Hostel Association of India. So this offers membership, which can be annual or uh, life. Sorry, lifetime membership. And this association organizes very nice trips, which are both safe and budget friendly. Finally, listen to your heart, do whatever fascinates you. Don't bother about what people say. Just don't dream, do it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Preeti. It was really very adventurous and uh, looking at you, we don't feel, probably we always feel that you are busy with your surgeries. And uh, you are one of our uh, second uh, dynamic Woman surgeon after NAS. Uh, Thank very, you. So very, very, yeah, very happy to uh, know your adventures. Thank and you. And your tips are also well taken. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. We'll move on to our next speaker, uh, Dr. Sangamesh from James Kalaburgi. And uh, his topic is reading, writing, and superseding. Uh, over to Dr. Sangamesh, please. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I am Dr. Sangmesh, working as assistant professor in Gulbarga Institute of Medical Sciences. I am also a PG faculty guide uh, for paramedical board. 
uh, can we have the next slide, sir? Yeah, I have named this my passion as reading, writing, and superseding. So we all have this passion for reading. I personally believe this passion for reading also leads us to another passion, which is writing or documentation. And this passion for reading and writing also helps us to have our best PPF, which is not a personal provident fund, but it is personal, professional, and familial life. Can we have the next slide, please? Yeah, uh, can you just click it once again? No, move on to the next slide and click it once again. Please click it. Yeah. What inspired me and why I developed this passion? Please go back. Yeah. Why? What inspired me and why I developed this passion? It's all about my childhood events when I shifted from one school to another school. And uh, I had this great difficulty in understanding English. And uh, when my friends used to say that you don't sit on my bench, I used to never understand what they are saying unless or until they would be push me out of their bench and then I would understand, oh, they don't want me to sit on their bench. So that's when I started feeling like I should learn English and I should develop their accent. So with that thing, I met my English teacher uh, and I told my difficulty. Then he gifted me an English dictionary with my translations, with the translations of Kannada and English word. And uh, he said, you keep reading. And this is my reading habit uh, developed. And I started reading a lot of books on Chanakya, who has left a great legacy for us. Can we move on to the next slide? So while reading many of the Chanakya's book, I uh, came across this something called as Chanakya's uh, legacy, where he has, says that if you have to live your legacy in life, you have to do three things. One is plant a tree, write a book, and have children. Well, having children is not my passion. This is what just Chanakya said, so I've just picked it up. But planting a tree and writing a book are my, uh, what I believe are legacies. So always plant a tree. So these are some of the trees which have been planted by me in my farm. Some of them date back even to 15 years or 20 years. And writing a book, it's always that every day or on a weekly basis, I write what happens with me on those things. So I've been doing it since last seven years. So these are some of the books like Diary 2021. And in 2019, I had a kid. So I started writing a book. That was the name of the book is The Zeal to Become the Best Father. Can we move on to the next slide? Well. Uh, this passion of my reading had led me to read a lot of spiritual books. Uh, for now, what I can say is I've just read Bhagavad Gita, finished off with the Quran, Bible, Guru Granth Sahib. Uh, basically, what we can see is it makes you totally spiritual. So reading is definitely what I believe is a very good habit. Uh, planting trees, I also believe that we take so much from the nature. So it's our way of giving back to the nature. So you better, uh, we, I personally believe you have to plant trees. And with regards to writing a book, uh, I always believe that it's not necessary that somebody should read your book. So you just write your thoughts, whether it's up to the public, whether they read or not, but you have this passion for writing, you just write it. Now, how I inspire others and a few tips to learn. Surgeon's life itself is an inspiration for others as we are lifelong learners. And we have our own stalwarts in this group, members in ESI from which we can learn, learn a lot. And uh, it's definitely to inspire others, you have to show others what is the work done by you. And uh, the book, what you see on the left is the beginning of my writing journey. That is the journey from commitment to engagement, which I've started writing on my wife. I've completed three volumes and the fourth volume is in writing. So the subject here is my wife. I, I write my conversations with my wife, the fights, uh, the other moments, whatever it is. So definitely that is one book which I cherish. And the table which you see on the right side is another important book, uh, which I call it as a surgeon's log book. Uh, which I believe most of us would be doing. But if you're not doing, I personally believe you have to start doing it. So wherein I record my day-to-day -day surgeries, someone who assisted me, whether I did it, either I supervised it, whether what were my complications and the time which took me to do that surgery. So I call it as a surgeon's log logbook and I have been doing it since last seven years. Can we move on to the next slide and the last slide? Yeah, how I inspire others and a few tips to learn. Well, the tips, start reading books on the surgical stalwarts. Uh, where we have our most of our own stalwarts, like books on Tahimtan Udwadiya, books on Adi Bapad, books on Atul Gawande and all. Write about your everyday activity and the place of work, wherever you work. And it is always better to begin with the surgeon's logbook. Uh, pick up the favorite plants of your choice and plant it. And from the next rainy season, they will blossom and they will give back to you. And I believe with reading and writing, we shall leave a legacy for the future generations to know how things existed now in today's world and the world we have left for them to live. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Dr. Sangmesh. It was very enlightening because uh, 
the most brilliant person and you have given the tips including the passion of having children that, that was hilarious very good man and um, we we really loved uh, loved your talk it was uh, really nice thank you so much yeah now coming to the next speaker uh, dr sharad bv who is the secretary of uh, chitradurga branch city branch uh, he'll be speaking on photography photoshopping and youtube uh, over to you dr sharad Oh, good evening, everyone. Dr. Sharad, please. Uh, I'm audible, sir. Yes, yes. Yes. Good evening, sir. Uh, the passions uh, other than surgery, what I have is, uh, the first one is, next slide, next slide please. The photography. Uh, I'm more into the skyline photography. The, I prefer to take the sky photography. Uh, the first photograph is the sky, uh, which was uh, near my house. Uh, I've done a bit of photoshopping as well in that image uh, because there was a lot of uh, wires dangling from the uh, from above, so I had to remove them. So there were two of my passion that was that was involved in uh, this photograph. Uh, the other one is the uh, red bull, red vented bulbul, uh, which is quite common in my place. That's the Chitradurga. So I was sitting on the pipe. I just clicked a photograph and it came beautifully. So I just uh, wanted to showcase it here. And the third image is the uh, when we went on a uh, trip, uh, the trekking trip to Jogimati. Jogimati is a hill station near Chitradurga. It's about 20 kilometers from here. So it was a nice early morning uh, with a cool breeze. So I just clicked uh, uh, a wind mill along with the background of sun, which was just rising. So that is one. And the other passion that I have is uh, clicking the photograph of moon and stars. Uh, this is a half moon that was, uh, the full moon is difficult to capture with uh, even with the DSLRs. Uh, so half moon is better played because the light is, uh, too much of light is reflected from the full moon and it's difficult to capture. So the half moon is, uh, the craters and all we want to see. So the half moon is preferable over the full moon. Next slide, please. The other passion that I have is YouTubing. Uh, it's a recent passion that I developed since last three months. Uh, I've opened my own channel that is Scholarly. It has only 28 subscribers so far, and it has got 21.2 hours watch time. And I produce more of the shorts, more than the long term, uh, long uh, format videos. Uh, I don't make that much because uh, obviously time constraints are there with the surgeons. So that's why I prefer to make shorts, shorts on uh, the brain psychology. The brain physiology. I make prefer to make uh, videos on these and uh, upload it to YouTube. Uh, next slide, please. The third is designing. Uh, the designing uh, why I developed was recently I built an hospital uh, just uh, one year back uh, because of the financial constraints that I had uh, cost cutting. I could not hire an interior designer, so I designed my own designs. Uh, the logo is the one I designed on my own. The flyers, again, it's the uh, two uh, for the activities I had to, I to make the flyers. And this is the board that is sitting in front of the front of my hospital, uh, the third image. Uh, it's the, uh, next slide, please. Now, this is how my hospital looks. Uh, at night, uh, this is the entire, entire interior designing was done by me only uh, with the help of a few of the carpenters and all. So uh, that's it. And I got other habits like uh, writing, reading, and that's for another day. And uh, I'd like to stop with you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sherat. It was very nice talk. We, uh, it was good because. Uh, YouTubing is such a thing which is the trend now and uh, we would like to hear more from you in future uh, to educate or uh, to give tips to all our surgeons. Thank you so much. Thanks for participating. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Now I call upon our uh, next speaker and the 20th speaker. Uh, I know all our speakers are from different different districts across Karnataka and all together we they have put up so much of effort in preparing all this and presenting here. Thanks. And uh, I'll call upon Dr. Prasad, Pavan Prasad BK, who is a surgical oncologist in Bangalore to 
speak on open water swimming. Uh, over to you, Dr. Pawan Prasad. Very good evening to everyone. I'd like to thank all the organizers for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak on something other than surgery, which is very close to my heart, and that is open water swimming. So what exactly is open water swimming? Next slide, please. Yeah, it is a discipline. It's an outdoor sport wherein we enjoy our swimming skills in natural bodies of water like rivers, oceans, and lakes. Why is it difficult? Like we know, open water is always unpredictable. The currents are unpredictable, the wind, and also the aquatic life. Com com compared to pool swimming, open water is always, it always seems impossible until and unless we dive in and conquer the swim. So why did I take up open water swimming? One thing is compared to pool swimming, it gave me a real sense of adventure and freedom. Swimming in the vastness of the ocean, surrounded by water everywhere, the blue unlimited paradise, it gave me a very unique experience and it was more rewarding. And every time we swim, we try to revive the nature. Before venturing into the water body, we try to keep the surroundings clean, meaning to say we try to pick up all the plastic crappage which has been left behind by other visitors around the water bodies. We try to keep it plastic free as much as possible. And also, every time we swim in the open water, it truly tests our endurance. How far can we go? It's not the time that matters, but the distance we cover and with the efficiency which will with which we propel forwards in the water. And also, off late, I've been dreaming of a triathlon finish. For those of us who are new to this triathlon world, it's an endurance sport which combines swimming in the open water for, with cycling and also running. So once we finish all the three events back to back without much of rest in between, we are given the title Iron Man. So I was I, I've always dreamt of a triathlon phase. So someday probably I hope to achieve it. And also it's too much fun. The moment we enter into the open water, the vastness gives us sheer enjoyment. We are a fish with the other fish. So it's uncomparable, unparalleled. So open water also has own benefits compared, considering the swimming in a pool water, which is filled with chemicals and a lot of people around us. Open water, you swim with nature, you swim in nature. It is chemical free, fresh water everywhere. And again, like I said, it's a true test of endurance. Every swim is different. It makes us challenge ourselves a bit more, one lap more, one kilometer more. If I've done a one kilometer swim this time, I would like to plan for a five kilometer swim the next time. And also, I've been able to expand my social circle. I've been part of this Open Water Swimmers Foundation, uh, which is uh, founded by one of the great Indian Olympians, Nisha Milet. And with this, I've been able to make friends with many of the triathletes and the way sports persons see life, the way they take challenges, it's really amazing. And I've been able to learn a lot from them. And of course, every time in enhancing your endurance level and testing your own skill set definitely has got its own benefits. And more than anything, it's too much fun. We just have to dive in, keep swimming until we accomplish the swim. Next slide, please. So it's always, I believe that you have to swim with your heart. Open water offers us this opportunity, no matter what, no matter how many waves come, we just have to dive in, keep swimming, and ultimately, when your body gets tired, make sure that you swim with your heart and enjoy the swimming. So, thank you. I have kept it short. Uh, thank you for your time and patience. Thank you so much, <clears throat> Dr. Pawan Prasad. It was really a different uh, thing and... Uh, yeah, even in our childhood, I used to do that. It's really amazing. It gives a lot of uh, strength and confidence. And it's a totally an adventure. Uh, yeah, we'll have more and more tips in uh, in near future. Thank you. Thank you so much for presenting you, here. Now, um, uh, I would like to share my uh, PPT, please. As <laughs> a, uh, I also have some passion, so I thought... I'll put uh, put forth in front of all the allied members. We have thought how should how I should be socially impacting. switch off Always wanted to be the video. Your audio is not audible.
Oh, my, my audio is not audible, sir. No. Just switch off your video for some time and talk. Yeah. Uh, is it audible, sir, now? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Continue. So, yeah. Go to the next slide. So, how can we make a difference in others' life? How can I make this world more better? That was my thought because it was always my father who instigated all these good thoughts in me. So I started, I started this Sankalpa Chase Cancer Foundation and started conducting free screening uh, camps across the state. I have conducted at least in 20 districts uh, at various forums. And every year I keep doing this 200 to 300 patients I see in a day. I carry some uh, 10, 10 of my team members who are specialists in surgical oncology and medical gynecologist, everyone, and I do the on-spot ultrasound, on-spot pathological test, on-spot on tests, and also we offer the free treatment because I, I always think, how can we make a difference for the society? Uh, we can sit in OPD and do it, but still how to reach out there and do it. Next. So in may various, these, these are the photographs of various districts where I went and did it. And Wakathan is one more where I create awareness I have a huge alumni group of more than 10,000 in Bangalore and we did a uh, cancer awareness walkathon just before the COVID and um, it was great successful uh, in the BBMP headquarter we did. That was the first time BBMP headquarter was given to us to conduct this uh, and going to the next slide. It was, I was always feeling because when we see the pain of a person, you reach out to the society and do something and this was one of the uh, thing which I did. All over Karnataka in a single day, we organized a blood donation camp and more than 450 pints of blood were donated in a single day to Kidwai Hospital and Victoria Hospital on that day. And similarly, in the left corner, you can see uh, 700 of us alumni have donated or pledged our organs for donation. Uh, our alumni includes many of the IAS and IPS officers. So uh, let us do something impactful and help the society or change the society or change someone's life is my motto next slide please this this always uh, uh, inspires me uh, many of my family members ask oh you always uh, think of something else i i want to build something else not the hospital something like that so these these are the books which i have written on a breast cancer which is in the nine languages i put a lot of effort for six months because i had to translate it so that patients can understand the disease better and then uh, they can treat them it means they understand what we are doing and they have to come in an early stage so so we can make an impact in their lives next we know that breast cancer is the most common cancer in human that's why i thought i'll start with this and this is how always mother nature is big one how to safeguard her go green free the plastic nearby places i go for example this is a photo of ramnagar betta near bangalore we went there and we cleaned the whole betta that day whole uh, era that day and we were uh, somewhere around 250 people we collected so many so much of garbage we removed all the plastic and we also celebrated on the top of that uh, ajadika amrut mahotsav so uh, that inspires me to do more and more uh, because i have a big group and this is how you develop uh, leadership skills and also you impact others and they impact you in turn next slide please Next slide, please. So this, this is how I, every year I plant uh, trees uh, back. Yeah, I plant trees. I make sure that whenever I get time, if at all we are unable to plant trees, then we have the last photo where you can see the seed balls. I encourage all the school, school children to make these seed balls so that you go and throw in a barren land. Over a period, at least 50% of these seed balls will grow into trees and over a period, uh, it, it becomes a forest. So it is not always that you take a tree and do it because it is very labor intensive. Always you cannot do it. So uh, in your bit, do something as much as possible. Next slide, please. This is uh, also, I thought during COVID time that because we are going towards the diet, which is more Western, let us come back to our roots, millet based. So I, I have started this food industry and cold press soil. And this shortly coming up with a hotel, uh, millet hotel, on Bangalore Mysore Highway. It is bang on the highway. Uh, in another three months, it is going to start. And my intention is let us provide healthy food, healthy environment. Next slide, please. 
and this is uh, the foundation which i am also chairman aladamara foundation we should be like a banyan tree not only we should grow we should also give shelter to others and allow others to grow and they should become one more aladamara and they should give shelter to others wherein which we have uh, uh, made these houses and we are just giving it a 9 lakhs uh, for the people who are really not affordable for this we have chosen from the Uh, labor industry uh, labor laborers who are working in uh, madur near about mandya madur area already donated all these lands and over uh, five acres of land we have taken and we get lot of happiness when we give this uh, one who cannot afford so next slide please uh, i have a big team for this this is a different team uh, i have satish and uh, rajat because i need to mention and i also love supporting farmers putting whenever they are going on strike because if it is for a real purpose this is uh, uh, when uh, mahadai uh, for river this one we sat on hunger strike in bangalore along with all the farmers uh, sometimes i i i feel that yes farmers need some support whether i am a doctor or whatever i am ultimately i need food so that is how i go about it next slide please dhaka time yes sir <laughs> and at the end i also have this filmy duniya me where i have acted in a short film which is named as beer sundari i got an opportunity to act <laughs> and i also dubbed myself for my voice and uh, uh, yeah thank you so much i also thank all the participants today and our chairman secretary everyone for giving this wonderful opportunity and for everyone putting so much of effort over here and putting their passion out here and giving so many tips uh, over to uh, our chairman and secretary thank you dr jaka for moderating excellent and uh, it's amazing and amazing that you know that there are so many talents amongst us our uh, past asi president dr abhay dalvi wanted to congratulate you all personally sir can you unmute and speak dr abhay is there okay dr siddesh yeah i think uh, it will be very super players if i just add the each one of them have uh, excelled in their own way uh, i think we have uh, uh, conveyed the real meaning of what the essence of life is not just in your profession in what you can continue enjoying life at the same time make a impact to the society and also to others who are nearby to you uh, in a different way than through your profession and also derive pleasure out of it that is the most important thing what the passion is all about so unless you like what you are doing you enjoy what you are doing uh, then it is purposeless and it is amazing to see so many of you we know you personally all of you but I you have you so many things it. hidden inside you and you have been doing I so see. excellently well in many aspects other than just surgery what you know out of thank you very much for organizing this chairman secretary chandrashekar and shivram and also wonderfully coordinated program though it was little lengthy but i saw even till late there was a big crowd holding on to it Uh, the numbers were good uh, i hope this will, will be prepared as a link and tag to a website where it can be uh, seen for those who could not for obvious reasons whatever uh, yes. thank you very much jaka again and wonderful work yes thank you dr thank abhay you. you can unmute and uh, speak dr abhay dalvi thank you for joining sir i am yeah. i'm just waiting for uh, sidesh to finish. finish no no i finished you, you you can come in okay so because on my laptop it's still going on so it's okay one one minute just give, give me 30 seconds okay can you hear me yes yeah, yeah clear yeah uh, so uh, let me congratulate the karnataka society asi office bearers faculty delegates everybody and particularly shivram who personally sent a whatsapp message to me 
to join this thing and as far as karnataka state chapter is concerned i have never ever refused a single invitation that i have received passion beyond surgery usually i don't get these invitations because people feel i don't have anything any passion beyond surgery uh, thank you shivram for uh, you know inviting me moderator asked for a party after this after your presentation on cooking i can help you that can that much i can tell you that, that much i can tell you non vegetarian food i will help you for sure okay i don't have the passion for clicking images but you all have so much passion beyond surgery with surgery i really uh, unfortunately i don't have these sort of thing but let me tell you i have gone through right from the start right to the end including siddesh siddesh has promised me lot of things from his farms <laughs> but it's not coming come. through it's not coming through you have to come to mysore <laughs> i i have no problem now there is good connectivity and i would like to meet shivram and others obviously uh, and get some things out of your farm and uh, really uh, shivram you have done all the best that you can do in this bangalore uh, karnataka society thank you so much thank you sir thank you we are doing yeah, very thank you very thank you sir. for inviting you me much. shivram you remember me i am very happy about it <laughs> thank you thank, thank you very much thank anybody you very much. wants to speak anything or shall we say call it a day dr lakshman i am we will call it a day shivram great program to great planning to great execution but we call it a day kcsi i would like to thank uh, all the speakers all the members of kcsi we have crossed more than 100 we have around 60 50 in uh, youtube and almost 60 to 70 in uh, live in the zoom platform and i should uh, uh, thank each and every one for uh, taking part in this program sir uh, thank you one and all uh, sopimat thank you for joining closing words yeah. from you <laughs> no, no 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 absolutely i was just uh, i'm short of words and i was just uh, thinking how little i know about all of you though you have been meeting so <laughs> often uh, that is I my know. feeling Correct. and so many hidden talents and great passion i, I am just amazed mm-hmm. all these days i thought that I, i am doing something else but i think what i am doing mm-hmm. is very very little compared to what you all are doing a great kudos i i am very very happy and i feel inspired by listening to this thank it was you. a fantastic program sir that's right i inspire thank others thank you so much thank you all the participants you have worked so hard we had done a trial run also i'll tell you a uh, lot of work and lot of passion goes behind all these webinars they are not just done uh, on that day and uh, you you enjoy the show but lot of hard work goes behind it i must congratulate dr jaka for all the hard work and all the participants thank you very much thanks and uh, kscsi is really shining thank you very much good night thank you sir good night thank you.